ask the proprietor, uh, you know, what's the best sauces of each kind? And uh, he just said, oh, we sell a lot of that. We sell a lot of that. He wasn't very committal. A couple other ingredients, interesting ingredients I found there. There was something called uh, vegetarian stir-fry sauce. So I haven't tried it yet, but I believe the idea is um, for a vegetarian oyster sauce, so to speak, which is common in Thai cooking. Not vegetarian, but the oyster sauce is common. And uh, also I bought a sauce I haven't tried yet that uh, seems like it would do as a vegetarian alternative to the fish sauce. Uh, the, in Carol's one time I asked, do you need to refrigerate the fish sauce? And the woman there said, well, I don't know, but it smells like it's already dead. <laughs> it certainly does. So I keep it in the refrigerator because often it takes a while to use up a big bottle like this. There was a program on Discovery, I think, about a year ago about the most famous fish sauce manufacturer uh -huh. in Thailand. Uh -huh. And they made it in like 10 different grades. Yeah. Do they need like a, a closed off zone of the city to uh, keep it isolated? Basically, what it ended up was it was in, in large ceramic pots. Mm -hmm. And they, they just, you know, they, they manufactured just gallons and gallons and gallons. Where did you see this? Discover Channel. Oh, I'll have to look for that. Yeah. Sounds good. As you may know, the fish sauce is made from fermented anchovies. Uh, we got, uh, say, we got these Mexican okay. shrimp, and we cut them in half. It makes them, and we peeled them also. It makes them uh, cook faster, obviously, that we, oops. How does this go? Turn it back on. Um, in Thailand, they, they're likely as not to eat the shrimp whole. In fact, the restaurant I remember really learning to love it at, the shrimp were really, really prawns, you know, really big shrimp. And the local people would eat the whole thing, as you know, calcium is supposed to be good for you. Shells and all, huh? Okay. You guys want to try this while he's finishing it up? He's got one ready here. Yeah, we should do that. Any, um, all right, we'll serve it to you. We've got a couple more minutes before the final stage, so this is a good time. Any further questions? What's your opinion on using kind of Mexican-style chilies instead of, like, proper food Well, I, um, uh, you know, again, if I'm at a, rest, at a uh, grocery store that has authentic Thai chilies, I'll buy some. But uh, no, you can use, uh, these are the japonesos. Uh, I put some, some of those and some nice hot jalapeno, serranos. Really, you can use any peppers you want. And to some extent, you're going to choose how spicy you want to make it. But the little peppers are the most traditional. What were the spices that you put in there? The lemongrass? The spices are uh, lemongrass. Uh, restaurant, it's easy to order some of these ingredients from uh, Red Hat. The restaurants can order them from Red Hat. Uh, but again, it's the kind of, in fact, what I did with this batch after I, uh, excuse me, I bought them in Denver. Just like I, I keep cilantro in water to keep it fresh, uh, I did the same with lemongrass. So rather than freeze it or refrigerate it, I just kept it fresh in water. And a good test, I cut one of them in half and started growing, meaning it was still very happy. All right, we are ready for the final so easy and so simple stage. Uh, let's, let's do the limes first. Need to slice them. Now there is a common theme to this series. In the last show, uh, they used the exprimadora to squeeze the lime yeah. for the guacamole. Yeah. We are doing the same. We'll have to incorporate that in somehow next <laughs> month. Next month, sorry. Now the recipe has measurements, and actually I already know that this, 
amount of limes yields exactly the tablespoon I'm looking for. And the infamous fish sauce or uh, what is the name of the fish sauce? Let me look it up. When we made the posters for the show, we were worried about spelling it correctly. You can find any variation of spelling of this soup you would like. So the fish sauce is called nam pla, which literally means fish sauce. Turn the heat off so as not to lose any of those volatile flavors. Are they tasting? It's delicious. It's great. Mmm, I can smell it. <coughs> that is not wonderful. Any more questions? Any uh, concluding remarks? <laughs> we have our... It's very simple. It's really quite simple. You know, a lot of the recipes are more complicated. And uh, it's quite different from the Chinese hot and sour, which usually has a little more thick in the broth. It's just very, very simple, not too many ingredients. Jerry, is this on the menu at Bacon Tellerac? Uh, <laughs> it has not been, no. Okay. Not yet, I think. Next week. Did you use fresh mushrooms? Did I use what? Fresh mushrooms. I use fresh mushrooms. Um, a lot of the recipes will call for straw mushrooms, which you're probably likely to find in cans rather than fresh. Uh, I've also used the shiitake mushrooms um, for a little stronger mushroom flavor. Probably wouldn't put as many in, even if they were fresh, I might not put as many mushrooms as the standard mushrooms.